everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I thought I would review the spot. I've been looking at this chart for what feels like a millennium, <laughs> and I really don't like to talk about tops and bottoms, but I will tell you that I felt we'd break over the area. Here we are. Here we are today. High today was 212.34, and I didn't think we'd go over the high today. We could have done it yesterday. We didn't. When I looked at the gap this morning, I looked at the gap and I said we're neutral today. And I was surprised. We rallied in the live open day. On the 15-minute chart, you can see here, in a blow of stock, we actually rallied into the morning, all the way up into 1.15, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and it fell. So we really did have a neutral day, like I called when I read the gap in the morning, because we rallied and we retraced the rally. The gap today was not a gap intraday to go long or short, okay? But overall, the gaps in the market, the bullish and bearish gaps have been able to tell me through my 26-point rating system that the market would continue the uptrend, would hold the bullish levels, and would break over the high. We haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. I don't know when we're going to, but I'll tell you that we're at 212.34. Previous high was 213.78. Oh, my gosh. It's like, it's like less than $2 away. I just don't know when we do it. I mean, this is one of these things where you say, when is it going to happen? But for the people that did the actual spy options call that I gave in February, it was anyone on my list and the people in the room and everybody's at different prices and I think at different expiration dates for the option. But I said the market would do this rally. And we literally, since we broke early in the year from February 11th on, we've done nothing but rally. We've had a couple red days here and there. Nothing of any significance. In fact, I'm just looking at this now. The only, there was only two weeks. This period here and this period here, there's only two weeks since February 11th that we have three red bars in a row. I and mean, I'm not saying it's anything to do anything with, but I'm just saying that just gives me even more confidence and conviction that we'll get over the high because it's buying, it's lifting the market. And there are people that are shorting the market. There are people that have shorted the market. There are people that are betting that the market is going to fall, knock it over the high. I do not train based on top. But here is an area in the market. You see this right here we ran up into today, 212.30-ish, or around thereabout. Some people shorted this market today or added to the short. And they're going to get blown on through when the market lifts over the high. And the only thing that's going to do that is buying institutional buying, which is the only way the market can make a move like this in the first place. If you look at this below here, it's 181. Today, we hit up at 212 something. Here, let's just be exact. Let me just get my calculator here. 212, 212.30 minus 181 is what? That's a $31.30 move that we have made February to March, March to April, April to May, about three months and a, and a couple of days. So a 3130, 181 divided by 3130, and it's just telling you the percentage. That's a 17% move that the market has had in three months. That's amazing, people. This is this is not a stock. It's it's an index. It's an ETF. It's a spy. That's incredible because sometimes the market only makes a 17, 15, 20% move in a calendar year. So within three months' time, the market has made an unprecedented move higher. Despite the drop-off that started a year, which no one could have predicted, it was in relationship to China. Let's not even talk about it. Amnesia. The point that I'm trying to make and, and, and what I'm telling you is that I was able to predict this well. And the reason is because I trade gaps. I trade gaps in today. I trade gaps in the long term for option calls. And one of the things that's very unusual about what I do is that the 26-point rating system, the Golden Gap rating system that I teach in the Golden Gap class, is something that you can use for intraday predictions to trade as a day trader and swing trades and long-term options calls and long-term investments. That's what's so unusual and very, very interesting. It makes the class so, so worth the money and worthwhile because it doesn't matter what you do with the information you learn from me in the class. If you want to day trade, you can make money. If you want to do long-term trades and predictions long-term, you can make money. How do you think? I made this prediction when the market fell off a cliff in the beginning of the year because of the rating system. I rated the gaps, the bullish and bearish gaps, and it told me, number one, we're still in an uptrend. Number two, we were going to still hit up over the high. So, you know, for the people out there that are like, do I want a day trade or do I want a spring trade? You can do it all. I don't care what you do as long as you're making money and following the system. But you learn the system in the Golden Gap course. And there's a lot of things out there to do. I, I realize that. But I think people really get their money's worth with me because of the fact that I 
I am able through the 26 points to accurately predict what something will do within minutes and seconds and also long term out. And, and, and to this day, I, and, and even five years from now or 10 years from now, I, I will never stop being amazed at the fact that there's so much power in the gap and that my rating system is so powerful to be able to predict what something will do. Many people felt the market was bearish, even even still today, people think the market's gonna, gonna actually not go over the highs, but it will. I don't know the day. I don't know the day, I'm not a psychic, but I'll tell you that it's gonna, and I know it from reading the gap. So if you wanna learn more from me, you can, whether you wanna swing trade or day trade or do options, it's up to you. It's all in the points, people, and that tells you how to predict what to trade and in what direction. And whatever you do with the information to make money, it's all you. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Again, the next Golden Gap class is June 11th and 12th. Have a great night, everyone.